I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira, two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see, I've got my foulies on. Not because the weather is necessarily super foul, but it's so cold. And these things are amazingly warm and dry. I even got fleece lined pockets. I know. Oh my gosh. We're gonna pull up the hook, go. We got 51 miles to Deltaville. Let's hit it. Let's do this. I'm gonna be driving. James is gonna be pulling up the anchor. I'm gonna try and make a coffee. Our batteries have not been charging. So I'm gonna do this fast so that we can get some coffees done outside and that's it really. And we can continue on with our journey. We've only got power for one coffee, so that's James's and I'll have mine later on. I was just going to do it the good old fashioned way, boiling water, but uh, we've just turned around the corner where now we have no protection. The boat's moving more, so I just can't be bothered. I'll have it later on. Thanks you. No worries. While we come on this channel, it'll be a bit bumpy and then it'll get flat and it'll turn. Yeah. What are you doing? Go back. It's a deer. Can you guys see that? He's like trying to swim out to us. There is a deer. I can't believe we just saw a deer in the water. That is just mental. Well, it's been a long day. We've motored most of it. Um, we're trying to get some power back in our batteries. Being this high up in the winter, the sun's been so low. Obviously, the solar's not working as well as it would in the summer. But we've been running, we finally got the sun out, and we got our batteries back up to a pretty decent level. And we got the Genoa out right now. Check this out. That looks so good. Oh, such nice shade to it. But anyways, we're about an hour from the Anchorage in Deltaville. We go on the eastern side of Deltaville. We just tuck right in. We've been there three times before. You guys have probably seen it. Uh, we got the swell right up the backside. And that's about it. Not a lot to report. It's been a pretty cold, windy, pretty uncomfortable day for 80% of it. The seas were super confused. You know, so much for that nine to 10 knots that we were supposed to get. Well, it's 6.30, good morning. We had an okay sleep last night. Doggies had a bit of an upset stomach, so we were up and down. But we're getting ready to go, and look at that sunrise. Tell me that is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. So we got about a 37 mile run, a lot shorter today than we had yesterday. Yesterday was big, it was just under 53 miles. Today we'll do 37 point something nautical miles to the fort. If we choose, we might do an extra 10 to uh, Hospital Point, which is across from the ferry terminal. If you guys remember last year, when we were in Norfolk, we stayed across from the ferry terminal. We'll see how we go. Uh, it was a long, cold day yesterday, so. But this is shaping up to be absolutely brilliant. So we're gonna pull up the hook and go. that's it we have left the beautiful Chesapeake Bay and we have just pulled in into Norfolk here the beautiful Fort Monroe is behind me 
and we're actually going to keep going. It's another two hours to Hospital Point, which is on the Portsmouth side, directly across from Norfolk. We're going to go anchor there. That'll put us in a prime position to get to the Chesapeake City Great Bridge early in the morning and hopefully snag one of the free spots. We've been pretty lucky. We've hit it two or three times, so not too bad. But yeah, it's been a really, really chill day. Um, not much has happened. Engine's on, as you can hear. There's, the winds have been bubkiss, but it's okay. We were expecting to motor. We accepted that. Um, we just wanted to get into the ICW here as fast as we could. All right, well, we'll check in with you when we hit the anchorage. You better turn. been in the ICW for like a few minutes and already we've got dolphins on the bow it's so beautiful look at this evening we got like incredible sunset going on we got all the amazing Navy fleet here of the US we just went by actually a really cool aircraft carrier it looked like something super modern I think it's about to go out so we just got by fortunately not a bad way to start our short ICW run. Anyway, it's gonna settle in for this last little stretch. Maybe we get lucky. Oh, here's some big waves. All right, we have pushed through today. I say we, James has done most of the driving today but we pushed through, we were gonna stop at Fort Monroe, which we normally stop at, but I'm glad we didn't because we did an extra two hours and now we're arriving at Hospital Point in Norfolk. Uh, and you can see the Wisconsin, which we went on and I didn't know that they put Christmas lights on it. And it just looks spectacular. Now it makes me wanna go on it all over again. But um, I don't know if you guys can see it just in the background there. Uh, so yeah, so we've got this ready, so ready for anchoring and it's basically around the corner of this point here, that's the hospital point, that's the hospital over there and we're going to drop anchor right where that sailboat is in there. We have literally made it just before dark, so we're going to grab, put these two in the dinghy, take them over, there's a feeder animal rescue which has a uh, dog park which we took them to last time so it's perfect so we're just gonna run them over quick have a bit of a run and then tomorrow we'll do the same thing because we only have a short run tomorrow to Chesapeake City my favorite spot because of the free dogs so um, yeah this guy's going into anchor as well so hopefully we find a spot get the hook set and we are here Woohoo! to be every day should be like a hovering cloud well it's officially happened flint has decapitated the chook what do you think lulu's do you want the decapitated chicken do you want the torso or do you want the head ah you want the head okay <laughs> And Flinty's just exploring the bath. We are currently going through the Albemarle Sound and we got fuel and water yesterday which we were in very much need of, especially water. So we got all that at the marina there in Chesapeake City and took the dogs for a really long walk and, and then came and anchored just past Coin Jock now we're obviously in North Carolina now but 
where the Alba Marble starts through this ICW bit, there's nowhere to take the dog. So this is one of those stops that we have to do where they don't get a second walk. I'm looking a little bit unhappy. Look at Kira, she's like, why the heck didn't we go for a walk? It is freezing, so I'm currently making some porridge for James, who's driving outside. I am reading this amazing book, which I found in, um, in one of the, the book swaps. Shantaram. That's what I'm doing with my uh, cup of coffee there. All right, my porridge is looking done. Oh yeah, it's starting to stick. Um, I've got our maple syrup from New England that one of our patrons brought us from Jane. Thank you, Jane. She brought it to Annapolis, so we're gonna do that. Okay. Let me plate this up for Jane. All right, quick update. I'm actually in the middle of the turn. Hold on a second. A few degrees here. And she's coming about. Yeah, so that's the story of the ICW when you're motoring. This finger, it's a lot of work if you're using the autopilot, so. We got going 6.30 this morning. I heard a boat go by, saw the light, and knew that we had our biggest day, so it's gonna be today, so I was like, gotta get going. We got about 40, between 44 to 48 mile, nautical miles to do today. It'll take us just to the start of the Pungo Alligator Canal. I'm not sure if you remember us doing a whole thing about that last year. It's a pretty cool little man-made canal. It's about 25 nautical miles long. Unfortunately, we just don't have the daylight because it's winter here. At the moment to run it, everything is soaking wet. Uh, there's so much to do in the mornings. The boat is sweating so much, it's so gross. Nat was ripping apart one of the covers this morning where we put our cups and plates. It's all just soaking. Like it's sweating so bad that like it's collecting in light fixtures. It's that bad. But I spot a couple of sailboats just over there. They haven't woken up. Come on, you sleepy buggers, get up. I call this rush hour because uh, all the power boats which are being brought south are roaring by us at the moment. Um, I would say 99% of the captains are really awesome. They always pull right up, slow down, let you know what side they'd like to do, slow pass. <laughs> and yeah, it's so, nice. it's so nice, isn't it? And no bears. We didn't spot a single bear on the uh, canal. That's been looking. That's the last thing we need. So. Give it all to me, babe. I give the world to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my away day skipper now. The cool thing is they're considering, um, for the practical side, they're considering my time at sea. So they're not requiring me to do the practical side of the test. If you'd like to be a part of the journey and become a patron, go to the link you see here on the screen. Another way you can support us is by hitting that subscribe button.